two bright reasons to choose Betty Crocker. First of all, just one Betty Crocker Devil's Food Cake will convince you. It tastes better than any other leading Devil's Food mix. Tastes moister. Take one yourself and see. Second, the fine frostings of Betty Crocker. Outstanding for their creaminess. The superb spreadability. They're delicious. Betty Crocker Cakes and Frostings. Try one. Or two. Frankfurter's Hamburger Meatloaf. Saving money by serving plain meat. And make the meal not so plain. With Betty Crocker Scallop Potatoes. Tender slices of russet potatoes in a velvety smooth white sauce. Or this golden brown hash brown with just a touch of mild sweet onion. Or au gratin. And now sour cream and chive for plain meat potatoes from Betty Crocker. My friends have always admired this set I picked up in Europe. Well, today when they come over for coffee, they're going to sample something deliciously different in them. One of General Foods International coffees. Café Vienna. It's a fragrant, full-flavored coffee with a touch of cinnamon. I bring out all my nice things when I want to do something specially nice for my friends. Or for that matter, for myself. General Foods International Coffees. It's our flavor that makes us special. Mrs. Jip's homemade preserve. Come on. Hey, homemade pickled beets. Are you ready to perk up a salad? Sam's not crazy about my salad. Could be your dressing. Instead of bottled, I prefer homemade. Do you sell homemade dressing? No, but Good Seasons does. Good Seasons Italian dressing mix, oil and vinegar for fresh homemade taste. Terrific. Mm. Good Seasons taste so homemade, you could put your name Both on it. Both of our couples received some very nice gifts just for coming and sitting in the hot seat, and we will tell you what they are right now. Kenny? An assortment of ditto jeans and tops that hug the curves. Tie top, tank top, drawstrings, halter and t-shirts, hand-painted knits, each one a work of art, furnished by dittos, and... St. Mary's crisp, easy care sheets and pillowcases, and handsome traditional patterns, and soft, pretty colors to complement any decor. Now back to Jim Pack and Hot Seat. Thank you. Every day, two couples compete here at the Hot Seat, and one of them has a chance to go on for some fabulous prizes. Right now, we will bring on our second couple, Jeff and Susan Getton. Come on. Oh. Welcome. How long have you two been married? Seven years. Seven years. Have you children? Yes, two beautiful daughters. Andrea is two, and Alicia is four months. Hey, that's that's great. Um, somebody told me you had an anniversary coming up recently, or just had one. Is just that had one. one. Just had one. Yeah. Seventh anniversary. What did what did you get <clears throat> for the anniversary? A card. A card. <laughs> A card. <laughs> did, did you go to the expense of mailing it or just A hand delivery? Hand delivery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just a sentimental fool, isn't he? <laughs> yes, throws it around. What would you say is the uh, is the best age to get married? I'd say about 23. 23? And what about you, Susan? 30. 30. Uh, how old are you, Susan? 27. <laughs> you got three years to go. What, uh, what do you think is more romantic? I'll tell you what, don't answer that. Turn around, back to back. Okay, now I would just like you to, to point at either yourself or the other person. Who do you think is more romantic? <laughs> Each pointed to himself. Okay, why do you think you're more romantic? Well, when we were uh, dating, <clears throat> Susan, we'd go to a drive-in or something like that. You know, you go to a drive-in, not, you watch the movie. <laughs> she watched the movie. <laughs> and I tried to get a little, you know, comfortable. She just, we paid good money. We paid money for that movie. We're going to watch the movie. <laughs> no, that's... What are you applauding for? <laughs> the money? <laughs> What? We can make it home. I never thought of it that way, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> you don't sound very romantic. Now, now, why do you think you are romantic? Well, women are always romantic. Well, not if, not if you're worried about... Thank you. Who, who, who turned this into a boat? <laughs> I'd like a show of hands on who's more romantic. No, but you know, you wouldn't let him put his arm around you at the... At the oh, that isn't true. Do you do a little romantic? Well, you can do more than put his arm around you. <laughs> right. what, um, what, what, do you do little romantic things? Do you leave little notes for him and shaving cream on the mirror or anything like that? Oh, of course. Every time I go out, if I leave a note for him, it's always a love note, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> I love you. 
Mm -hmm. And watch the movie. Okay, you sound like a very romantic couple in your own way. Jeff, if you'd step over to the booth, we'll find out a little bit more about you. A nice good luck kiss. Take your place and connect up your fingers with those electrodes that'll put you in with the meter. And then just sit back and relax, my friend, because we are going to play the game with Susan a little bit, and we will come back to you in a few moments. Okay, comfortable? Sound off in the booth, please. Okay, Susan, you know how the game is played. We've got three questions. What we want you to do is predict Jeff's romantic... Not romantic. See, you've got that in my mind. What we want you to do is predict Jeff's emotional response to the questions, okay? Okay, first question is worth $100, Susan. If your romantic life were like champagne, what does Jeff think it will be like 10 years from now? Will he say that it's improved with age or that it'll lose its bubbles? What will be his emotional response? 10 years from now. 10 years from now. It'll lose its bubbles. <laughs> And you say you're romantic. <laughs> Susan, okay, let's find out how well you know this guy. Sound out of the booth, please. Okay, Jeff, I've got a question with two possible answers, and each one I'd like you to say, no, it won't do that. Here's the question. If your romantic life with Susan were like champagne, what do you think it will be like ten years from now? Will it improve with age? No, it won't do that. <laughs> Okay, we've got your response. Or do you think 10 years from now, it'll lose its bubbles? No, it won't do that. <laughs> well, you know each other. I don't know how you got to know each other, but you certainly do. Okay, sound off in the booth, please. We go on to our $200 question. And you did very well on that. We picked up 100 bucks now. Okay, we're going to ask Jeff, which of these songs best describes your wedding night, Susan? Now, will he say, it's love is a many splendored thing, or is that all there is? Well, being a romantic, is that want. all there is? Is that all? That's probably the way he'll... Okay, well, you were right the first time. You got his emotional response very well. Okay, let's see what it will be for $200. Sound on in the booth, please. Jeff, this time to the two possibilities. I'd like you to please say, no, it wouldn't be that. And my question is, which of these songs best describes your wedding night? 